don't hate me, but if you aren't using AI, then you're being left behind. But no worries, because I'm gonna show you how to be a master prompt engineer and get robots to do your work for you. Welcome to part two of How to Prompt Like a Pro, a masterclass series here on the Learn with Shopify channel. These videos are jam packed with AI prompt concepts we all wish we knew earlier. My name is Bridget O'Rourke, I'll be hanging out with you for the next little bit. And trust me when I say, stick around because the information in these videos is going to completely revolutionize the way you run and market your business. Let's go. So what exactly is a prompt? A prompt is the instructions you give to AI. Prompt engineering is the way you give these instructions to get a better output. It's like giving directions. The clearer you are, the easier it is to get to your destination. For example, you can't just open up ChatGPT and say, give me text for my ad. AI has no idea who you are, what your ad is about, who your audience is, what the desired outcome for the ad is, so you're gonna get something extremely generic. Here's an example of a well-designed prompt, and we'll break it down in a second. Imagine you are the owner of a pet getaway called DJ's Doggy Daycare. Your mission is to create a brand identity that reflects a top-tier pampering experience for pets. What makes us unique is our focus on luxury comfort and personalized plans tailored to each pet's joy and well-being. The tone is warm and playful, mirroring the delightful and carefree atmosphere pets enjoy with us. Highlight the comfort and happiness pet owners will feel knowing their pets are hanging out in their own little paradise. I created this prompt with what I have deemed the root method, as in your route to the right prompt. Let's break this down. Here's how I create the perfect prompt. R stands for role. First, you want to tell the AI who they should embody. A great way to start a prompt is, imagine you are. O stands for objective. Next, we specified the goal of the prompt. Start this with your mission. U stands for unique selling point. We outlined essential elements that make us stand out. Start this sentence with what makes us unique is, T stands for tone. We included what style we want to convey based on what we already know about our brand. Some good ideas for tones are friendly, conversational, heartwarming, playful, inspirational or motivational, serious, you could do sales driven, persuasive, educational, etc. You get the gist. You can mix and match all different tones to get a more specific output. E stands for emotions. We directed the AI to craft content that resonates on an emotional level with a specific audience. This will help strengthen the connection with them. Start this with highlight. So overall, this is a solid prompt, but there are actually two more things that we didn't include, mostly because it didn't fit in the acronym that I made up. So I like to think of these as bonus letters that will help you to achieve way better results. These are actually my favorite prompting hacks. So letter number one, the letter E, stands for examples. Including examples in your prompt is a game changer. It steers the AI to generate content that not only matches your specifications, but also vibes with your brand's essence or inspiration. So at the end of your prompt, you might say, here are some examples of pieces of our current brand identity, or here are some examples of other brand identities that I like to use as inspiration, but do not copy them. This is important to add because it may give you something that's too similar to the examples that inspired you. This guides AI in understanding your brand's voice or the creative direction you admire. Bonus letter number two, the letter B stands for, and this is my favorite word, brain dump. Brain dump anything you have in your head, any ideas, additional information that can help guide the outcome in the right direction. For example, I want this to be targeted towards pet owners in the GTA or I would like to use my dog Jimmy as the mascot of the company. Now, here's a sneaky little hack. If you're ever not confident in your prompt, here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna ask ChatGPT or whatever AI model you're using, and you'll say, this is the prompt that I'm going to use. Act as a prompt engineer and help me write it in a way that will get the best, most relevant responses. And then paste your prompt. There we go. Now you have a perfectly refined prompt from the master itself. Now, before we get moving and grooving on trying out this prompting framework, let's dive a little deeper. Not too deep though, and don't worry, I'm not here to overwhelm you. Here are two of the most important rules when using AI in marketing and copywriting. Treat AI outputs as drafts to be refined. Edit and rework the AI generated copy and then feed the revised version back into the chat. This teaches the model to better copy your brand's voice over time and ensures that your content doesn't 
feel like AI wrote it, you know? It's my biggest ick. I hate it when you can tell that brands use AI to write their copy. It looks cheap. We don't want that. You also want to make the process of creating AI prompts a cycle of continuous improvement like anything in life. Another thing that helps with this is providing specific feedback. For example, you could highlight elements that particularly match your brand style or point out things that you don't like. This ongoing conversation between you and AI will help it to produce more tailored content each time. By using these practices, you can transform those AI outputs from generic beginnings to content that actually represents your brand, keeping your use of AI invisible to your audience. Now we've covered a lot, so let's actually put it into action. Stick with me while we come up with the ultimate marketing plan for DJ's Doggy Daycare and we're gonna use various AI softwares that you're definitely gonna to wanna to know about. Let's start with ChatGPT. We're going to feed the original prompt we created into the message box. Now, you see ChatGPT has generated an outline that's going to lead us in the right direction for building our new brand identity. You see, it's given us color ideas, font ideas, logo design, and come on, yappy hour? I literally can't think of a better name for community engagement. So this is all great, but I feel overwhelmed. Do you feel overwhelmed? Like, what do we do with all this information? This chat is now primed to talk about DJ's doggy daycare. So we can continue on in this chat as if we're having a conversation with it, including as much detail as we can in our prompts. The more detail, the better the outcome. So let's get ourselves a game plan. In our next prompt, this chat already knows its role, its unique selling point, the tone, emotions, we just wanna give it a new objective. I want you to create a marketing plan for DJ's Doggy Daycare. I want this to be a two month soft launch plan written in a weekly schedule outlining exactly the projects to focus on. I need this to cover both online and in-person interactions. Here we go, now we have a marketing plan. We're going to go through how you can use AI for most of these deliverables. The first thing we're gonna do is social media teasers. Let's get some ideas. We're going to try this on Google Gemini. But before we do that, we wanna take this prompt and add it to some sort of document. I personally use Notion. So I'll create a new document called DJ's Marketing Prompt and I'll place the prompt here. This way you always have access to it and you can adapt it as you go. Google Gemini. This is Google's version of ChatGPT. It's pretty similar. You have your chats along the side here and you enter your prompt here. We're going to take our prompt and just adapt it a little. Let's say you want to post on Instagram four times a week. You can use our original prompt, but again, just change the objective. Your mission is to create a two month social media calendar that reflects a top tier pampering experience for pets. And then you can include any examples of past social posts or ideas that have inspired you. And of course, add in your ideas and additional information. Look at this, you now know where to focus your posts, what your content pillars are, you have a sample calendar for two months, and hashtags to use. This is insane. All right, moving on to the next part of the marketing plan, making a website. This is super easy with Shopify. I will leave a link for you to try it out for free down in the description. And special shout out here to Shopify Magic, which is a feature that will help you to write and edit product descriptions with AI. So make sure to look out for that because that's another task off your to-do list. Now, if you're the type of person who wants to grow their business and stay on top of emerging trends, let us help you. This is Learn with Shopify and we release new videos every week to help you reach your business goals. So if you're new here, I highly suggest sticking around and hitting that subscribe button. And no, I'm not biased. All right, back to business. You're gonna need content written for your website, right? Let's head over to Poe. Poe is like a hub of different AI chatbots. You can use ones like Claude and GPT-4. This looks scary, we're just gonna stick with the assistant. I'll paste the prompt and change the objective. Your mission is to create website copy for the homepage of my new Shopify store. I want this to be minimal text, think fun one-liners that reflect a top tier pampering experience for pets. Now you have various one-liners for a simple brand website. You'll see down here that you'll also have suggested next prompts and you can even compare different answers from various chatbot models. Let's try out Claude here. Now you have a different answer, so you can combine elements or just pick your favorite. All right, friends, we are moving along. You're getting the picture. This prompt is magic. Are you feeling like a prompting master yet? Do you feel confident? Let me know in the comments, but let's change it up a little bit. Most of these chatbots have felt kind of similar so far. So let's take a look at Gravity Right. Oh, 
Oh, okay, this looks a little different. Just look at all of these options available for you to use. We can't go through them all or we'd be here all day. So let's make a blog post. These are something that's gonna help your business grow and provide valuable content. And if I remember correctly, according to our social media content plan, blog posts are in week three's deliverables. There's this tool here that caught my eye, human written blog post. Remember, we don't want our audience to know that AI is creating our content. So let's see if this human blog post needs any editing. We'll copy and paste the title here in this blog title section. Select generate. My mind is blown. Did you see how easy that was? And it totally sounds like someone wrote it. You could literally just copy and paste this to your blog. That is crazy. Yappy hour has to be addressed, right? Let's plan out these community events that we'll use to promote our business. For all you Microsoft fans out there, this one's for you. Let's test out Microsoft Copilot. Okay, this looks cool. I see here that you can toggle to choose a conversation style. Let's go with creative. I'm going to paste my prompt. Now I'm gonna change the objective. Your mission is to create an event itinerary for our soft launch event called Yappy Hour and give it a month long marketing plan to promote the event. Pro tip here, Copilot thrives with context. So I'm gonna add some additional information after my prompt to give more context as to what we're looking to have in the output. I want the purpose to be that dog owners can come see the facility, stay for a beer, let their dogs roam around and get to know the place. I want to emphasize that their dog getting the chance to experience the facility with their owner is paramount to their adjustment when their owner is not there. All right, let's give this a shot. Boom, a perfectly tailored event itinerary and marketing plan. There are some great ideas here. Giveaway ideas, contest ideas, social media ideas. This is everything you need to get started. Ask it to expand on certain points as you see fit. Moving on, I would love to generate an email campaign, but we don't have an email list. So the perfect way to generate an email list, a lead magnet. This is essentially a piece of valuable content that you can give in exchange for email addresses. Now, you really want this to emulate who you are because you're using it to attract new people to your brand. So if you want to completely replicate your brand's voice, Jasper is the tool for you. On Jasper, you can actually add your brand voice. So this lets the output be tailored more towards your style. Under voice, just add either text from past projects or upload files from past projects, even enter your website. Jasper will scan the content and learn your voice. Let's specify a task. Lead magnet checklist for busy dog owners dropping their dog at daycare. We're brought into a document here. By the way, you can ask any chatbot to give you lead magnet ideas by using the prompting fundamentals that we covered earlier. Now we're asked questions related to our prompt. This program is essentially guiding us through prompt engineering. So we will include any checklist items, our target audience, as you can see, there are suggestions here. And then you can add any additional information. The more questions you fill out, the more relevant the output will be. And there you go, you have the content for a checklist designed exactly for your target audience. You can continue building out this document by just pressing this plus button and giving Jasper another prompt. For example, here under meet and greet, you could add a section about our monthly yappy hour. It's also important to always go above and beyond with value in a lead magnet. So let's add at the bottom here, include a 10% off your first stay coupon. Now you would need to take this information and design it into something eye-catching using a program like Canva. If you want a video on how to use AI in design, let me know in the comments. I think that would be a really fun video to make. Now, if you're a business owner, you wanna save time, right? We all do. We're on a roll with saving time with AI now, but there is one more sneaky way to save even more time. Repurpose your content. When you write something up like an ad or let's say a lead magnet, you can repurpose that content into other types. I'm going to copy this lead magnet and head to this remix button. Then I'm gonna paste it. Here you can instruct Jasper what to do. Let's say write the copy for a landing page collecting emails in exchange for this lead magnet. You'll see it gets added to the same document, which means you can keep everything in the same place. Then you can do it again by just entering a new prompt. Write the copy for an ad promoting this checklist. Write a welcome email for users who download the checklist. You can even follow that up with, write an email to be sent three days after downloading the checklist. You get the point. You can generate all different kinds of content with this. Ads, website copy, email announcements, the list goes on. Here's to making our lives easier and 
learning a new skill while we're at it. And of course, at the center of your brand, it all comes down to how you portray yourself online. And the best place to start after building your brand identity is building a cohesive, user-friendly website. You can get your site up and running in no time with Shopify. Give it a try today with the free trial linked below. We made it! Tell me, is prompt engineering as scary as it sounds? Did I make it a little bit more exciting for you? Let me know in the comments. So I'd say you're a prompting pro now when it comes to marketing and copywriting, but there are more things to learn. And as always, we've got your back. All you have to do is subscribe to the Learn With Shopify YouTube channel and click that little bell icon to get notifications when we release more videos. This way you can stay up to date and become the best prompter you can be. We covered a lot today. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. It has been an absolute pleasure. My name is Bridget O'Rourke and I'll see you next time.